Live coverage of CES 2010 has been brought to you by 42nd Street Photo. Visit them online at 42photo.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's Omar from buymeaniphone.com. We are here on day three of CES 2010 in Las Vegas. We've stopped by our very good friend Scotia. We're going to be yeah. talking to Doug from Scotia. Thanks, Doug. Good to see you, Omar. So, what kind of stuff can we expect to see from Scotia for 2010? We are the most innovative company at the show. We won the award from iLounge, you know, one of your yes. partners, for the most innovative company here. So, all of our stuff is unique. We do things that are different than our competition. That's what you're going to see here when you take a look at our products. So what we have here? What's the first product? Show this us. is the Revive Light 2, the second generation of our Revive Light product. Okay, yeah, we so reviewed the first one. What we did this year is we shrunk it down in size, so it's a little bit more portable. Um, we centralized the the um, door, so it's not off to the side anymore. So it so it won't hang crooked when it's in the wall outlet. Um, it's also spring loaded now, so it, with the smaller devices like the Nanos, it'll actually lean back the Nano, so it's nice and stable. You're not gonna have any problems with that. Another great thing we did was add uh, an ex extra USB port for charging additional items. So it, it's and one more thing that you guys are all going to love is we reduced the retail price. The original one started at forty dollars. This one's all the way down to twenty five. Twenty five bucks. So you dropped the price. Exactly. That's awesome. So we did all these cool new things with the product and we dropped the retail price. So a win win for everyone. Very good. Very good. I like the adjustment specs. We reviewed the very first thing that they announced the little sidearm style. Right. Yeah. So we can see that it's all more centralized now. Very good design. Okay. What else do we have over here? Cool. This one you guys are going to love as well. Best of show finalist for iLounge. It's very simple, but once you see it, you're going to be like, why didn't I think of that? It's a charge and sync cable that folds up and then it can be put on your keychain. Into so a keychain. That you're is You're always going to have your cable with you, so you're never going to forget it. That's awesome. So this is like, this is the USB tip right here? Yeah, it has the, the, the nice... 30 pin? Yeah, you got the 30 pin for the iPod as well as the iPhone, and then the half um, USB. So it's like those small flash drives, you know, that, that are really compact. We use that. So that is crazy. So you just put that right on your keychain, and you'll have always have your sync cable with you'll you. You'll always have your sync cable. And so you can sync and charge with this cable. Sync and charge. You got it. Awesome. And it's so USB 2.0 for you know the fastest possible for fastest data speed. transfer. So how much can we expect to see this being retail for? That'll be retailing for 19.99. Really, 20 yep. bucks. 20 $19 bucks. Excellent price. That's an awesome deal. Yeah, we have two versions of the cable, actually. Okay. So we have the iPod and the iPhone version, and then for all you guys that have, you know, digital cameras, we have a micro and mini USB version. So too. there's two tips, two ends on that one. Two ends on that so one. So USB to two different types of USB. On yeah. That's, that's so awesome. For, for the gadget guys like ourselves, I'm probably gonna have both of those on my keychain. That is super exciting. Can't believe no one else has thought of this. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really, really, cool. really easy to use. Perfect for your laptop, anything. So. Very cool. So what do we have over here, Doug? What's this? This thing is really interesting. You got to kind of wrap your head around. It's a little confusing at first, but okay. it's a Bluetooth receiver with a built-in microphone, and then it has the headphone jack here. Okay. So what you do is you plug it into the auxiliary input of your vehicle. So okay. the, the vehicles with the factory or even aftermarket stereos with the auxiliary input. Okay. Um, so what that does is you sync your phone with it, and you can get your hands-free conversations going through your car stereo. So this will pick up your voice, yep. and when they're talking back to you, it'll come out in your car stereo. In your speakers. speakers. Yep. You That's got awesome. It. So what if I have like a uh, like an MP3 or something I want to hook up to the auxiliary and at the same time? What would I do with that? Exactly. So you have two options. We have okay. um, we have the streaming audio capability available in in the stereo version. So that, so if you have like a second gen touch with the Bluetooth streaming, yeah. or the iPhone Bluetooth streaming, you can stream right to your speakers. Okay. Um, now the other option, both of both of the products come with, is a uh, splitting cable that'll switch your audio. So, so that splits it up here. Yeah. So you can directly connect your iPod in there if you want to do that. And then as soon as the call comes in, it'll know. It'll it'll make a switch. It'll switch back to the Bluetooth. So. That's awesome. Yeah. And so how much can we expect to see this retailing for? Um, there's two ones, two versions. There's one with the stereo and the hands-free combined, and then just the hands-free. So the hands-free one will be in the fifty to seventy-five dollar range, okay. and then the step-up version with both the stereo and the hands-free will be in the seventy-five to hundred dollar range. Wow, that is so just that's tiny. It's really tiny. We worked very hard on. On make, making sure that thing was not going to be bulky when you plug it into your dash. Is that that little pedestal that's on top right? Is that included? That little black piece right there? Yeah. So what that is, it's a aux relocation um, mount. So, okay, so, so if you if you have the auxiliary input in your in your center console or in really your dash, out of the way. Yeah. If it's out of the way, you want to have that mic close to you. So what yeah. it does is relocate that, and you can mount the another aux input essentially, um, like on your dashboard or wherever you want. Very cool. Awesome. So what else you want to show us? All right, we got around on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is our ID 
TR 655M series earphones. So they feature the new Tapline 2 technology. Okay. Um, what we've done, I'll show you, is we've relocated the control housing to the to the headphone splitter. So, so that's you have a volume a, control, right? Yeah. So that's your volume control, your track control. You can access your voice voice control memos on the uh, 3GS. And then, um, you know, basically all the new iPods and iPhones are going to feature the volume control uh, capabilities. Yeah. Um, so when we relocated the, the controls down here in a centralized location, it moved the microphone away. So what we had to do is split them apart and put the microphone in the optimal okay, so location. So now two well. different pieces now. Exactly. So, cool. it's so close to your mouth, right? So close to your mouth, right. We had to move it to the most optimal location. So. Um, we also did an upgrade on the cable, so you have the nice braided cable as well. Oh yeah, it's like the fabric uh, braided cable. Very yeah. nice. And it nice includes a genuine leather um, travel pack. Okay, so this is the Power Fuse charger for the Scope. What this is, it's a full charging system. So you have a dual home charger when this is plugged in. Um, so it's universal USB, you plug it into your house. You take this little guy out and you put it in your car, so you have a car charger as well. Um, and with this product out, you can now plug in your car accessories into your home outlet. Oh, I see. So you have a, a, an iPhone charger for your car, you can bring it in the home. And you can still use it with the plug, the wall plug. So this goes exactly. into the uh, cigarette lighter? Yeah, exactly. And that goes like flush into the cigarette lighter? Yeah, it's a super low You see low how flush that is? So pop it back in there. So if I this my cigarette lighter, it's barely going to stick out at all in there? Yep, you got it. That's awesome. I hate those cigarette lighters, they usually like stick out a whole bunch, but that's like really nice. Exactly. Out of the way. We have two versions of this product. We have one that comes with the iPod and the iPhone cable. Uh, and then another option is um, if you don't want the cable, you already have your iPod cable. Um, just just the part itself. So, so what are they going to retail for? Um, this one is going to retail right in the $40 price point. Okay. Still very affordable, very nice. Yeah, coming out soon. Very cool. Okay, so this is our sneak peek series of audio video cables for the iPod and the iPhone. Um, we have two different versions. You have your regular RCAs for your um, standard te television systems. Okay. Um, and then we have the upgraded HD for the uh, component cables. HD component cables, awesome. Exactly. And one thing that we did a little bit different than our competitors is we integrated a mini USB port. So you can charge it? Into, yeah, exactly. Okay. Into the connector. So you can charge and play at the same time. Very, yeah, because if you're watching a movie, it's going to drain your battery after about two hours or so, so you can keep it powered up exactly. while you're watching a your movie. So on the the standard RCA version, you got to use your own mini USB cable. Okay. Um, it doesn't. It's not included. Does it come not included with this kit? Exactly. Okay. But on the HD version, it actually does include the cable. So. Okay. And what are these retailing for? Um, this is right in the fifty to sixty dollar price point, and this okay. is in the sixty to seventy dollar price point. Okay. So what do we have here? Um, this is basically the cable that you just saw for the standard definition, but in a docking form. The so RCAs. you connect it to yeah via RCA's to your home stereo and your television. Um, and then it comes with the remote as well, so you can access all your menus, your videos, um, no problem, just right there. So what we got here, Doug, what is this? This is the tap stick, so for all you third generation shuffle users, I'm sure you're in love with the fact that Apple forgot to put buttons on the device. <laughs> so, you know, you have to control it from the headphones that are included with the app, with the, with the product. So yes. what Skosh did is make a case that will add some protection and also relocates the buttons right on the device itself. So you can use any headphones that you want or plug it directly into like your car audio system with the auxiliary input like we showed you before um, or a home stereo. And the new version is in clear now. As soon as Apple developed the, uh, the color options on the shuffle, we decided to make a clear case as well. Very cool. That's very nice. How much does this do retail for? Uh, that retails, it's available in the Apple stores now and it's right at $30. 30 bucks, very awesome. Yep. Well, thanks Doug, we really appreciate you talking to us today. Yep, and, uh, no problem, happy to do it. Very, very awesome Ooh. stuff, we're here from CES, guys. We have more coverage coming soon. Please stop by the site and see all the other videos we'll be posting very soon. That's going to be it for now. Until next booth, see you guys later.